Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. What do you associate with blue light? We tried to think of some funny stuff and kept coming up with police lights in the rear view mirror. Just kept popping up. I guess that says a little something about mine and John's driving records. <sighs> Speak for yourself, John. No, what we're really here to talk about is blue light. Apps that filter blue light have been available for PCs and smartphones for years, and it's gotten to the point where iOS and Android now even offer the same functionality built in. But why is blue light suddenly something to avoid? I mean, it's just regular light and it isn't like you're staring into the sun and exposing your retinas to all that lovely UV radiation and like mutating and developing superpowers. <laughs> no. Well, the main concern about blue light is its ability to disrupt your sleep cycle, also called a circadian rhythm. Specifically, when blue light hits your eyes, it can inhibit the body's ability to produce melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. Now, scientists aren't sure exactly why this happens, but they think it's because blue light is relatively high in energy compared to other colors. That is to say, it has a shorter wavelength than red, yellow, or green light. And when you're up and about during the day because you have to go to work or go to school or head off to a CrossFit class, blue light from both natural and artificial sources can help you feel energized and focused. But at night, when your body naturally wants to start shutting down, blue light instead tricks the part of your brain responsible for sleep into thinking it needs to stay awake. This problem has been amplified in recent years as more and more of us stay up late, staring at gadgets that give off lots of blue light, such as our computer and phone screens. <laughs> Those hooligans. If you think back to grade school physics, white light that we see lots of in our web browsers and mobile apps contain all the colors of the spectrum, including blue. And modern LED displays often use a base of blue LEDs combined with different chemicals called phosphors to produce white. And of course, if you're looking at an AMOLED phone display, you're directly exposed to plenty of blue pixels. To make matters worse, those fancy new LED lights we're all installing in our lamps and ceiling fans also put out light that's more skewed towards the blue side of the spectrum than those old incandescent bulbs were. So just having the lights on in your room before you go to bed might keep you from falling asleep as quickly as you did in the good old days. And mom used to read us a bedtime story. <laughs> Of course, all this can not only cause tiredness, but the attendant health problems that accompany chronic sleep loss, such as a weakened immune system, poor memory, and weight gain. There are some studies that even suggest that the higher energy blue light can trigger chemical reactions that permanently damage your eye's photoreceptors, irreversibly degrading your vision over time, though more research on this specific issue is needed as the links between blue light and actual eye injury are much less clear <laughs> than the ones between blue light and poor sleep. There's good news though. The solution looks to be rather simple. Move to Amish country. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't really need to change your habits that much. So if you're like me and tend to lay in bed with your phone late at night, turn the brightness down and enable your phone's blue light filter. This will make your display appear much warmer so your body won't be trying to tell you to stay awake. If you're on your PC instead, there are blue light filtering glasses and monitors with built-in filters or failing that, Windows 10 has a built-in night light in its display settings that will reduce the amount of blue light emitted by your display. And another trick is to try and use light bulbs advertised as warm with lower color temperatures on the box. These will push your ambient lighting back towards the red end of the spectrum as well. It might be annoying to not be able to see things in quite their correct colors before bed, but it will at least keep you from having to explain to your boss why you keep yawning during that meeting he makes you sit through every Monday morning. I'm glad we don't do one of those. That calls for a punch into the face. No, no! Oh, you missed, thank goodness. <laughs> Are you interested in computer science? Then check out Brilliant, a problem solving website that teaches you to think like a computer scientist. Instead of passively listening to lectures, you get to master concepts by solving fun and challenging problems. And Brilliant provides the tools and framework you need to tackle these challenges. Brilliant's thought-provoking content based around breaking up complexities into bite-sized, understandable chunks will lead you from curiosity to mastery. And you'll be in the company of over five and a half million members who share your curiosity and love for math and science. So what are you waiting for? You can support TechWiki and learn more about Brilliant by clicking the link in the video description or going to brilliant.org slash techwiki and signing up for free. The first 200 people to go to the link will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So be sure to check it out.
That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, dislike, check out our other videos, comment with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow us all over the internet. We're, we're going all over the place. You never know where we're gonna go last. Over here, over there, yeah, over this way.